Each goat is only going to hit one banana. So they've given us some instructions. Um, we have goat zero hits banana zero. Oh, goes to and hits. And then we want to go to. So we don't want to have to do that over and over and over. And we just saw in the previous activity um, that we can use variables to allow us to put loops here. So I'm going to start with x equals zero. And we've got four bananas. So I'm going to put in a times loop, which we haven't had in a while. And inside, and notice I haven't deleted anything here, because I'm leaving this here to help me remember what I'm going to be working with. Um, but I know I need to put my if statement, right? So if, I'll pick this one, but I'm going to change it to banana x, is frozen. Then we can have our goat go to. Now, I'm going to indent these first so they are inside of our if statement properly. And um, I'll deal with that in a minute. So we need to change the zero to. Oh, I have an error here too. I don't know what I did. Maybe you caught it when I was doing it. Um, but somehow I put my frozen inside of my brackets. What? But now it's fixed. So if bananas x frozen, there we go. So inside of our brackets for each of these, we need the variable because remember it's gonna change each time. So they gave us guidelines for what, how we want to create our code, but we have to make it fit our purpose, which is we're going to be changing what that X is each time. Now, um, we've taken care of our if statement. The goat, if it's frozen, the goat is going to um, take care of it. And then we need to go to it. So that go to banana for the monkey needs to be inside of our four times loop, which means it gets one tab or it's indented right in this line. And again, I have to be sure to change that to X. Um, and then the last thing we do in our loop where we need the variable to change is we write the directions for how to change it. And in this case, we're going to be adding one. So we go from zero up. And now we should be ready.